Hey everyone, my name is Vilod Kumar and welcome to my channel Geeky Week. I recently went into a store to buy a new phone and the salesman showed me a couple of phones as per my budget and he said So, this phone features 6.70 inch super AMOLED display with full HD 1080 to 2400 resolution. It comes with a Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 Octa Core processor, 32 MB front camera, and 48 plus 12 plus 5 MB rear camera. It also comes with 6 GB RAM and 64 GB internal storage that can be expanded up to 1000 GB with a battery capacity of 4000 mAh and offer dual nano hybrid SIM slot. Oof. And he showed me the second one and explained the similar features. Now, which one should I choose? Most of us have been in similar situations, right? And in this video, I will explain you different features of a mobile phone. And next time, when you, your friend or your relative wants to buy a new phone, you should be able to suggest and provide your opinion. Before we go into the video, do not forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button down below. Number one, processor. The connectivity between all the hardware and the software interaction, keypad inputs and outputs, all are handled by a processor. The processor is just like the engine of your car. The better the engine, the better the performance of your car, right? So when you open any app in your device, the time it takes to open depends on the processor. A bad processor could make your device laggy and hence make sure you always buy a phone with the latest processor. You can find the link in the description below which lists the processors and their launch dates. Choosing the right processor totally depends on you at the time of buying a smartphone. Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 is the latest and best in 2020. And the other important thing with the processor is that it can come with multiple cores. The processor can be a dual core, a quad core or an octa core. If your processor is dual core, it means your processor is divided into two cores. If your processor is quad core, that means your processor has four cores. And similarly, octa core means your processor is divided into eight cores. To understand the use of cores in processor, let me explain you with a simple example. Suppose I give you some work which will take you eight hours to complete. But if you call your friend and you can do the same work, maybe it takes six and a half hours to complete. Now imagine you call two more additional friends. Now you're a team of four and the same work will take around four hours. And say you call four more friends. Now you're a team of eight. Now the same work can be completed in one hour. In a similar way, a single core will take a long time to complete. Whereas a quad core or octa core will divide the work equally between the cores and your device performance will be much faster. Number two, display type. The majority of the phones comes with two main display types that we need to look into. AMOLED and IPS LCD display types. LCDs have been around for a while now and AMOLEDs are currently the new playthings on the market. Now which one is better depends on its features. AMOLED has better viewing angles than the IPS LCD. The blacks are very deep and look better on AMOLED and the whites look better on IPS LCD. AMOLED has vibrant bright colors and IPS LCD has natural colors. For example, iPhone uses IPS LCD with high resolution and they call this retina display and Samsung uses enhanced AMO LED and they call it Super AMO LED. Since I like vibrant bright colors, I choose AMO LED over LCD. Number three, resolution. Resolution refers to the number of pixels a screen can display. This would be measured by width and height. Now a display is said to be an HD display if it has a 720 horizontal pixels. It's called a full HD if it has 1080 horizontal pixels and quad HD if it has 1440 horizontal pixels and 4K when it has almost 4000 horizontal pixels. The higher the resolution, the higher the quality of the image or the text. The minimum requirement for a smartphone going forward is a full HD which is 1080 pixels. Number 4, RAM. The function of RAM in any device be it Android or iOS is the same. The word RAM itself is self-explanatory random access memory. These are the houses where the apps and other background processors do their job. Now we all know about storage, right? When we click a photo or save any document, it saves in the storage space. But why do we need RAM? So here it is. Any app you open requires to store some amount of temporary data and read write this data from the app to the device at a faster speed. And this is where the RAM is used to store the temporary data and transfer at high speed. And this data is retained until you shut down the phone. If you're the IM gaming person, then the minimum requirement for you is 6 GB RAM. Because some games like PUBG require huge amount of temporary data to be stored. It needs to read write at much faster speed. And do remember that higher RAM without a good processor is useless. Snapdragon 865 processor with 6 GB RAM will have better performance than Snapdragon 665 processor with 8 GB RAM. Number five, 
storage. It's used to store data, photos, videos, documents, etc. But keep in mind, 20 to 30 percent of your storage is used by your phone's operating system. And hence, if you buy a phone with 32 GB internal storage, then only approximately 22 GB of space will be available for you. If the phone comes with expandable storage, it means there is a memory card slot where you can increase the storage using memory card. If, if you're the person who takes more photos or videos, then you need to go with higher storage. Number six, camera. Almost all phones nowadays features both front and rear cameras. What will you choose? A 30 MP or a 48 MP or a 60 MP camera? Remember this. The megapixels actually does not improve the quality of the picture. It just increases the details of a picture. The higher the megapixel count, the more potential detail can be captured within an image. More pixels just mean that you can stretch the image wider on a canvas without any noticeable distortion. Go for shopping today for a smartphone and one of the features you will want to pay close attention to is the rear facing camera which come with multiple lenses. Each lens does a different job. One of the lenses will be used for capturing ultra wide angles, the other for macro zoom, the other for depth, depth is used for capturing bouquets, etc. Now the difference is some phones have just one lens that does the same and others are split for better use. And if you shoot outdoor videos or into vlogging, then do look for video stabilization as one of the main features. Number seven, battery. The higher the image, the more charge it could contain. Couple of important features to consider are fast charge capability and the wireless charging. When a phone has fast charging, it charges the battery fully in 20 to 30 minutes approximately. The other things to look for while buying your phone is the build quality. It can be plastic, metal, and recently some phones come with glass panels. The operating system, make sure you have the latest operating system on the device. The size of the phone, make sure it fits your hand. Anything beyond seven inches would become a tablet and will look huge. And the protection, make sure you have Gorilla Glass Panel which is scratch resistant and break resistant and finally do not buy a phone which has launched more than eight months ago. So next time when you go to buy a new phone make sure you remember the above points. Others who think I missed out some features do leave a comment below so it can help others by buying a new phone. Thank you for watching and if you like this video hit the like button share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Cheers.